Here's how to do a mass import of songs. We have the audio wall loaded and we click on the double plus in the top left hand corner. It opens up the mass importer screen. Now we can click add folders right there and negotiate to where our audio is. And in my case, it's on the D drive and it's under my library file. Now I can click library and then click the little button there that says add subfolders to the search and it will add all of the subfolders under library. In this case, I don't want to do that. I'm going to tell it to just look at a folder called one dash currents. Click open and all of the songs in one dash currents slow, uh, show up down below. Now, at this point, I could tell it to go ahead and do the import, but I don't want to import all of these songs at the moment. I'm just going to import a few of them. So let me scroll up here and then I deselect those songs by clicking the remove button. And let me remove a few more so I can make this go quick here and just have a handful of songs. Okay, there's about, uh, what is that, six songs or so. Now I'm going to tell it to do the import. And you don't have to click this, but I would. Auto ID assigns a unique identifying cart number that will be assigned to each audio file that is imported into Playout 1. Category is not necessarily important. If you are going to use Playout 1's auto DJ function at some time in the future, you might want to use this, but the numbers here are not related to Music 1 categories at all. I'm going to select the zeros there, but it's not important that I do. These are all songs, so I want to give them a song type. And the things that I'm about to import can be used for auto DJ function or not. That's an option for you. Now do the import. It's importing one of six, two of six. Here we go. Import is completed. I can now close the screen and here are my new songs imported. It's as simple as that.